All right. Good. I think all set. Um, welcome once again um, in the session today, um, exploring ServiceNow with Microsoft 365 in, uh, integration. Um, so let's let's kick start the session. If you can see my desktop. A quick reminder on safe harbor notice. So in case I find any forward statement, it should not impact any decisions. Um, so this quick notice, um, in case the, the, the session we are running today, we do have a lineup uh, series of sessions. If you want to join us, uh, you can scan this QR code. You can please self sign up and uh, you can join us uh, in future sessions as well uh, on these various different topics. All right. Uh, quick housekeeping rules. So uh, we are going to record this session and recordings as well as the PPTs that I'm using uh, will be available for you to access in futures. So those recordings and PPTs uh, um, you can access over the ServiceNow community page. Um, so, you know, uh, you can access those recordings as well. Um, also, post this session, you will... Uh, you will redirect you to um, a search survey. So don't forget to fill in your responses. Uh, those surveys are really helpful for us to improve in future sessions. All right, uh, in the midwin session, uh, you'll have enough opportunity to ask your question. You can always use um, Q&A button uh, in the Zoom window uh, to post your question. And in between of session, I'll try to respond to those questions uh, live. With this, a little bit about my introduction. So myself, Jitu Chauhan, based out of uh, ServiceNow office uh, in Bangalore, India. I'm part of product success management group here and taking care of uh, various different IC ITSM um, uh, products. All right, so before we jump in, I would like you to fill in a small poll uh, just to, you know, just to let everyone know that where are we standing in terms of uh, in terms of uh, you know awareness on Microsoft Teams. So let me share it up. All quizzes. You'll have uh, thirty odd seconds to fill in this survey. I appreciate if you can respond over the. Poll question. Just to just to know, you know, where yeah. we standing. Awesome. So we got the hundred percent answers. Let me end the poll and share the results. Seems like uh, we have many responses with regards to still gathering information. Very few folks first time. Hearing. Awesome. So good. Glad that you um, little bit aware about the Microsoft Teams integration. All right. Good. Let me move on further. So uh, just just a background, um, you know, about uh, this integration. Um, so in the today's world, organization, they want really improved experience uh, for the employees, for the customer. Uh, also, they want to focus more on efficiency. So it's it's all about you know blending um, uh, good experience, getting more efficiency uh, into our day-to-day -day operations. Uh, this is what the mission critical behind behind this integration concept. Um, if we see in our day-to-day -day, uh, work life, you know we see a lot of these challenges uh, where we have a, a employee stressed because uh, you know employee need to work on various different applications, so many different windows. So it's always uh, difficult to, you know, move one to, one app to another app and then move one window to another window. So, uh, and it brings a lot of inefficiencies in our day-to-day -day operations, right? And sometimes while juggling with different windows, different applications, um, sometimes we miss the important information uh, which need attention. So all those are the common challenges that we see in our day-to-day -day operations. So why service now for Microsoft uh, to overcome th those challenges? Microsoft really 
uh, bring a very good uh, communication ecosystem um you know whether it's the entire microsoft 365 um, uh, a host of applications or uh, one of their popular popular um communication tool is microsoft teams so they 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 are really um uh, you know, uh, very good in terms of uh, various different communication tooling perspective. We as a service now, we believe we are really very good in the workflow. We really have a lot of uh, automation capabilities. So this is how ServiceNow and Microsoft uh, comes together and join hand to come up with this integration where um, we want to, you know, improve the employee experience or the end user experience. Uh, so, you know, uh, bring a lot of capabilities uh, within Microsoft ecosystem. So if I'm an employee, then, you know, I don't need to uh, juggle multiple applications. Uh, I don't need to really open the service now uh, on the separate window and then uh, look for my incident or look for my, uh, you know, virtualization chat. So everything can, uh, I, as an employee, I can really uh, utilize Microsoft Teams or M365 integration to have all those interactions with ServiceNow uh, uh, popular tool chain. So that's how the, the, the you know integration comes up. Um, so with this integration, you know a couple of changes that we can observe is uh, of course little happiness on the employees because we don't need to really struggle, um, you know, uh, juggle with multiple applications and windows. It will help to increase my productivity not only uh, as an employee but as an uh, as an agent or as an uh, you know uh, service provider. Uh, it will increase my productivity because I will have. Uh, uh, interface where I can interact with my employee or uh, other person uh, by using my own popular communication tool, whether it's Max or Teams, for example. It, of course, this integration also brings a collaboration uh, within team, um, reaching out to your uh, customer or employee and user. So those are a couple of benefits. Um, how this integration can help agent to bring speed and efficiency um, by using this indication, you know, as an agent, um, uh, I will have opportunity to uh, deflect many of the incident uh, by just uh, doing some automation. So and as an end user, I can, you know, uh, reach out to virtual agent, I can really uh, interact with aut various automated uh, flows to fix small problems like getting the information on my incident, status, all those things. So as an agent, you know, I don't need to really intervene everywhere. Um, so those kind of uh, um, deflections can be help. Uh, it will help me as an agent to resolve cases faster because I have a single workplace where I can interact with the end user, with my employee. Um, and I can really, uh, it's very easy to reach out to employee uh, over there. Um, you know, favorite communication tool, if it's a Microsoft Teams or uh, Outlook. Uh, so those kind of things. Uh, and of course, it brings uh, uh, stakeholder communication better in terms of whether it's stakeholders internally available or externally. So those are a couple of uh, things which will really bring efficiency uh, into my day-to-day uh, -day life as an agent. And I'll show you how, how it's going to make change. Um, just quick quick thing on the various personas uh, which will tell so as in CIO um, if I have this integration set it up then I can maximize my investment uh, you know I can really um, prioritize uh, how this integration will bring the efficiency and collaboration uh, within teams if I'm a service owner then it gives me a lot of flexibility to uh, you know in, in case of any outage happen then uh, it's easy for me to reach out my teams my employees to you know bring everyone on the same platform and uh, collaborate uh, them uh, easily. Uh, as an agent, of course, it really helped me. If I have integration set it up, then I can uh, directly reach out to end user uh, or my employee and I can diagnose the issue quickly. Um, I can really literally set the meetings with them directly uh, to to fix the issue and, and get to know more issue about it. As an employee, as an end user, uh, it's nothing, you know, greater than that. Uh, I will have a one interface where I can utilize my day-to-day -day communication. Also, I can access my service now uh, interactions uh, in the same tool or the same uh, uh, space. With this, move on further. Um, so you can see the scalability perspective. Um, 
you know if you're aware about the service now ecosystem then uh, we have a employee center is available uh, or you can uh, if you're not using employee center of service now you're using some custom portal for your uh, employee engagement uh, you can bring those uh, portals uh, into microsoft uh, ecosystem so uh, also you can have a you know uh, various different notifications or uh, you can have uh, actionable notifications where um, as an end user, as an employee, I don't need to really open my service now and then, uh, you know, uh, update those incidents or uh, see the status of incident. All this information can be available uh, in my Microsoft Teams uh, environment or even uh, Microsoft 365 online ecosystem. So similarly, um, you know, whether it's a live agent transfer, so as an employee, I can really uh, utilize uh, Microsoft 365 to uh, engage with live uh, agent in case of uh, some major incident it's always uh, easy for me as an operation manager to bring all my team members together as one for to fix issues quickly uh, also there is a lot of opportunities to automate my various different uh, scenarios which i'll show you in a few minutes uh, how you can utilize the flow designer and uh, spokes that we available um, and M365 ecosystem is available, so you can really utilize, you know, uh, uh, service now within Outlook, within M365 ecosystem. So, uh, once so post scalability, I would like to touch base on, uh, you know, how this integration will bring the efficiency. Um, so you can see we have a different, uh, op you know, as an employee, I do have a different option to interact with service now. Um, and uh, even for agent uh, service and operation workspace is there for operation team MIM module is there which can be utilized to um, you know have a collaboration over the uh, 365 ecosystem um, as an agent I can really initiate a chat with employee um, an employee you know can uh, stay with, with Microsoft Teams uh, to have the, all those uh, chat interactions they don't need to go back to service now and uh, have their virtual agent or uh, you know the uh, chat option available. This before I'm moving further, let me see if there is any question till now. Okay, just an introduction, so I'm not expecting any question till now. But let's let's go in deep dive. So in case if you are not uh, aware about the employee center, if you are not aware about the service or ecosystem, then we have uh, something called employee center, which is uh, which is a one stop shop for your employees uh, to engage, to communicate, um, uh, you know, um, and it's really a, one of the easy way uh, where employees, uh, uh, where, you know, you can provide the very good experience to your employees and employees, they can, they can, uh, come here on this portal employee center portal and you know uh, utilize various different communications options uh, can be useful for the directory operations so in case if you're not using service now employee center using some other custom portal that is also fine um, so we do have capability to uh, bring bring that uh, portal as well in microsoft teams or uh, if you have some kind of a customizations of employee center no worries uh, this can be uh, bring uh, into the Microsoft 365 integration as part of service now. So, yeah, so these are the couple of <clears throat> things you can do uh, if you want to engage with employee. Employee, so you can see uh, within, uh, as an employee, uh, if my favorite communication app is Microsoft uh, Teams, then I can uh, literally uh, access my service now employee center within Microsoft Teams. And you can, you know, utilize uh, uh, employee center in Microsoft Teams to uh, to have a better uh, engagement with employee. You can set the announcements. Uh, you know, you can set the targeted communication uh, within Microsoft Teams. So as an employee, I don't need to really go away from my uh, my own favorite communication tool. Uh, you know, uh, to access the uh, access the employee center. Or any custom portal uh, that is available uh, in your organization. So this is um, so as an end user or as an employee, I do have uh, opportunity to interact with virtual agent, which is one of the popular offering within ServiceNow ecosystem. So again, virtual agent is available within uh, Microsoft Teams. So as an end user, I don't really go um, you know and open the 
separate service node page and then have utilization of those virtual agent interactions. You can uh, do all your interactions within MS Team itself uh, with the same window. Um, also, uh, there's a live agent support. So in case if uh, as an employee, uh, I, you know, I want to interact with live agent, uh, then I don't, again, no need to go back to some other window. I can initiate the live agent support from my MS Teams chat itself. Um, for agent, uh, I think service operation workspace, if you're not aware about it, uh, service operation workspace is uh, one-stop shop uh, for uh, for your agent. Um, so as an agent, I can go to service operation workspace and, and literally see all the activities you know all the potential areas where my end users they need help whether it, uh, some incident where uh, as an agent to work or there is some um, issue need to pick the some change request or uh, you know any any kind of support or any chat uh, as an agent i need to serve to any chat then i can go to service operation workspace and uh, initiate those so ms teams uh, integration is available uh, in service operation workspace as well so as an agent, I will have capability um, to pick any incident and I can initiate a Microsoft Teams chat with end user or initiate a meeting with end user to understand the issue more. Uh, so it's kind of a, a easy way for me to reach out uh, end user and collect more information. It will ultimately it will help me to solve the case quicker, faster and increase the efficiency, right? So I don't need to go back and uh, send the email to the end user and then uh, have a, a meeting invite separately. Um, so those are the capabilities are really helpful uh, for agent to increase their productivity. With this, moving on further, uh, before I going there, let me quickly see if there's any question. I can see one. Um, okay, so there is a question on the licensing. Um, uh, plugins. Uh, so as part of this PPT, I'm keeping a couple of uh, slides, um, which are the plugins required. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there is a lot of guidance available to how you can really um, initiate the uh, Microsoft Teams integration. So um, in terms of licensing, uh, I think this is part of uh, Pro, uh, or I would suggest you to contact your uh, contact your uh, service now team in your organization. Uh, what kind of license is required uh, because it depends on uh, the kind of, uh, kind of uh, agreement uh, in your organization. But it seems like it is, uh, in general, it is part of Pro and uh, there is a lot of documentation available where you can see um, which are the plugins required. And the, one of the plugins required is ServiceNow for Microsoft Teams, which I'll show you um, in as part of demo. All right, good. If no more questions, I'll just keep moving on. So, um, so I was talking about the integration, right? So how easy it is. Um, uh, you need to just install the plugin from uh, from the plugin page. Uh, one of the plugin uh, is something uh, is required is uh, service now for Microsoft Teams. Once you install that plugin on your uh, environment, then you will have something called this option, service now for Microsoft Teams. So you will have a uh, installing Azure apps, you can install that app. So you need to download the plugin first on your instance, and then then only you will see this option. Right. So once you connect with Microsoft Teams, uh, you will have this kind of option. You can install this integration. So what this will do, uh, it will just connect your service now instance with the Microsoft uh, ecosystem. Right. So basically, it will authenticate by your um, tenant account so you can really pick the account uh, to get the permissions and authentication once you have that authentication done then this is how you will see the message successfully connected with microsoft azure and that's the only uh, step to connect with your uh, microsoft tenant very easy super easy um, with this step number two would be um, you need to uh, generate a manifest file. So what is manifest file? Basically, um, in case if you want to have some configuration or customization for your uh, Microsoft uh, chatbot, uh, if you want to, so 
you know, ServiceNow uh, chatbot comes by default uh, with the ServiceNow branding. In case if you want to customize, if you want to change the image, uh, if you want to put your own uh, company logo, you can do uh, via this manifest file. So the manifest is file is, is all about, you know, uh, customizing your uh, customizing your bot uh, preferences. How you can customize ServiceNow for Microsoft Teams? Uh, click on this option, ServiceNow for Teams. And you will have option here to configure your manifest. You can create new. You can customize this uh, uh, bot option. So here you can see the uh, ServiceNow team, but you, you can choose your own name. Uh, you can set the branding of your own company. Um, you can really change the colors uh, and all those things. So this is how you can follow the steps. Uh, I think just click, click, click. Uh, in case if you want to connect with multiple Microsoft tenants, then you can choose this option. Uh, if you have a single tenant to connect with this service now instance, then you can choose the first option. Um, you can rename your employee center. If you are uh, calling uh, this employee center or employee portal with some other name, uh, you can just rename uh, that as well. And that's it. You need to just download this manifest file uh, because you did some customizations. Of course, you want to show this customized uh, experience to your employee in Microsoft 365 environment. So you have to download this file uh, and then uh, go to your Microsoft Teams admin center, click on manage apps, um, upload a new app. So ServiceNow do provide a default uh, um, chatbot option. So in case if you don't want to go for any kind of a customization rebranding, you can always uh, utilize uh, the default uh, chatbot. If you want some kind of customization branding for your own company, then uh, create a manifest, upload your manifest here in the admin center. So once you upload this manifest here, then what is going to end that Microsoft Teams is going to uh, flow down this customized applications to all of your employees uh, they are using uh, on this tenant, right? They're configured on the tenant. So you can really, you know, browse your uh, manifest file and then uh, change the policy so that it can start flowing down to your employees. And you can also pin this app. So in Microsoft Teams, you can set the order where you want to keep this service now for Teams uh, uh, into your uh, employees uh, Microsoft team application and that's it done you know so integration is done um, you can literally go um, to Microsoft 365 uh, page and then uh, start using that the chatbot or uh, service notification app okay so with this there's a question oh there's a hand raise Yeah, Akshita, uh, do you want to talk? You can unmute if you have no question. Okay, nobody seems like by mistakenly, Andres. Okay, any question till, till now? All right, so keep keep typing your questions uh, in the Q&A section. Uh, I'll try to take questions uh, in between of this. So I was talking about the Microsoft Thesis integration, right? So we we, we connected our tenant, we um, configured our manifest file, we upload this file on admin section, and this is where I can start using. So I can uh, go to Microsoft Thesis and then uh, as an employee, uh, I can see the ServiceNow uh, app we just uploaded here, and I can uh, start using that app. So uh, there is one more setting, uh, which is actually Microsoft Team settings. In case um, if that app is not flowing down to your employees, then uh, this is what the setting is recommended is. Um, uh, but, but this is this is all together, uh, this is Microsoft Team settings. So with this, I want to quickly give you a quick demo. Um, I hope you can still see my desktop. There are a few questions as well. Do you have any ebook and guide for this indication which has all steps listed? So there is a documentation available on uh, ServiceNow uh, doc site. Um, uh, 
you, you can literally follow that documentation uh, to have a step-by-step -step integrations. Um, there's another question, how to enable features topic in Microsoft Teams. Uh, I will show you this uh, in a second. Uh, I think super easy on a summary note. Um, uh, so Microsoft Team will uh, give option to utilize the topics which configured on your ServiceNow instance. So there is nothing separate you need to do. Um, you just set your topics within your ServiceNow instance and it, uh, you know, uh, all those topics will be visible to the end user in Microsoft Teams as well. There's a question about the spoke. Uh, there is There are a few use cases you can uh, utilize. So in case if you're not about the spoke, so if uh, in ServiceNow, there is a, uh, something called the flow designer and in the flow designer, you can utilize the spokes uh, where you have uh, additional options to automate various of your use cases. So yes, um, by default, you don't need to uh, configure any spoke, uh, but in case if you want to automate all, uh, you know, various different use cases, you can use that spoke uh, as well as part of your uh, integration hub. But this integration will sit under the integration hub. So, all right. Um, I hope you can still see my desktop. And if I go quickly, uh, this is how the interface look like. And if you go to your Microsoft 365 uh, page, um, once we have that integration done, then this is how you can utilize. So you will have this kind of a manifest app. So you remember we uploaded one manifest in case if you want to do any configuration. I have not done any configuration, so uh, I'm using the default uh, uh, app, which is available um, uh, within, which comes by default actually. So you can see here as an employee, I can utilize uh, the entire uh, employee center or employee portal, whatever you call in your organization uh, in Microsoft 365 uh, uh, ecosystem. Right? Similarly, if I'm a user who really um, works on Outlook, uh, online Outlook, then I do have the, the Outlook option here. So this is what my Outlook look like and uh, that app is available here itself. So uh, while working on my emails, um, if I want to uh, create an incident, if I want to really interact with my uh, employee portal, then I can uh, simply come here and, and you know start utilizing that employee uh, portal services uh, within my Outlook online self. Or if I'm a user who really like uh, Microsoft uh, Teams uh, as, as my day-to-day -day activities, then yeah, I can also interact with ServiceNow uh, Employee Center uh, by using uh, my MS Teams interface. So I don't need to really go back to a uh, separate window and open Employee Center separately. I can come here in my Teams itself and then I can really access the Employee Center. Not only access the Employee Center, but also access uh, my chats um, or even the topics, uh, uh, virtual agent topics. So all those things can be done in Microsoft Teams. Yeah. So uh, that this is how it looks like. Um, if I just quickly show you how this integration can be done. And of course, there is a, enough documentation available um, on the portal. So if you can um, install the Microsoft Teams uh, plugin, um, then you can go to your uh, instance. Oops. So this is what my instance is. So while this is coming up, uh, once you install the plugin, um, I think the next step would be to connect your tenant, right? The indication. So if you recall the slides, uh, how you can connect, super easy. Uh, post installation of a plugin, you need to simply go to your um, all menu here, uh, look for service now for Teams. So you will have this option, right? Once install the plugin um, and you can click on this install Azure apps. So if you click on this one, uh, you will have a, this page uh, available. 
since application already installed for me, um, instead of install, you will have install button. Click on installation. It will ask the authentication from your uh, Microsoft tenant. Uh, you know, once you have authentication done, that's it done. You will have all these green checkboxes. Um, so that this is how you can connect. This is how simple it is to connect to your ServiceNow instance with Microsoft uh, Teams uh, ecosystem. Once you connect your tenant, the next step would be in case if you want to customize your uh, uh, chatbot experience. If not, then simply go to your Microsoft Teams and start using that. So in case if I want to customize, I want to rebrand um, the service now uh, with my own company logo and name. Um, simply you need to download the manifest. So again, go for service now for Microsoft Teams. There is something called service now for Teams. And that's the page where you those experiences. So I'll open the page here. Yeah, so you can see this is what my existing manifest file. I can create new manifest and I can customize uh, all together separately. So this is how it looks like. Um, you know, I can fill in the short description. Um, I can rebranding re my employee center. I can, you know, do the customizations color change, whatever I want. And then at the last, I can download this manifest file. Uh, it will download as a zip uh, folder. Um, then next step would be to go to your Microsoft Teams admin. Here, this is what my admin portal is. Um, go to manage apps and you can upload that new app. Since I already already have installed. So what I can do, I can search. So this is what my app and I can upload uh, latest changes. So basically this is what the option where you can upload your manifest file, all your customizations. So in case if you've done any kind of rebranding, uh, it will start showing here. Yeah. These are the um, steps, very easy to configure. Um, there is a lot of documentation available and uh, documentation link will be available as part of this uh, PPTs as well so that you can follow and, and 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 try out the integration on your dev instance or non-production instance first uh, let me see if i can pick a few questions uh, can we do this in pdi uh, good question so there is a question from ankit i'm not sure about the pdi instance uh, if you can configure this um, uh, probably I'll just get back to you, but I'm not 100% sure on the PDI uh, option. So in case if you're not aware what the PDI is, a personal developer instance, uh, which is uh, really um, to experiment a lot of these kind of things, <laughs> but I'm not sure about if this integration is available on PDI. Okay. So check before uh, doing an experimentation on this one. All right, cool. Um, so this is how you can configure um, it's very super easy and you can make your employee experience better. You can uh, literally help your agents to um, short the uh, incident or issues quickly. Um, before uh, going to next steps, um, I want to just quickly show you what else you can do. So as an employee, I can literally come here in my MS Teams and I can open this app. Uh, and you know, utilize uh, uh, utilize the virtual agent conversations within my Microsoft Teams, right? So if I want to integrate, I have an employee, so I can say hi, and initiate the conversation with virtual agent, and you can see all the topics configured in the background are available here. So, for example, if I want to check status of my ticket. And I can check here. I don't need to go back to and log into ServiceNow portal and then uh, see the status. So I do have nine incidents created. Uh, which one I want to see? I want to see, say, email issues. <clears throat> so you can see how easy it is. Uh, you know, I can see the uh, all the details of incident which I created. 
uh, I can click here, I can go to incident, so it will open the page directly, uh, service now page. And also not only I can just view that, I can also add my comments. So in case if I want to update uh, a few more observations against this incident, then I can, uh, you know, I don't need to go back and open the service now and then uh, paste there. I can simply just click yes and add that comment or additional information against this incident. So you can see how uh, useful it is um, to having, uh, you know, um, employee experience better. Also, as an agent, if you see the agent perspective, um, then this is what my um, service operation workspace. So I've logged in as an agent, which is uh, one of the agent is helping um, to resolve the issues. And, you know, uh, I do have a lot of different options. So, for example, if this guy want uh, some help from live agent, then... say I want to interact with the live agent, then I can initiate the, the chat directly from Microsoft Teams. So if I initiate a chat with agent, then see, uh, you know, uh, directly from Microsoft Teams, uh, that chat request comes here to my agent, uh, Angeline, and I can accept the chat here. Uh, All right, so as an agent, uh, you know, I can accept this chat. Uh, uh, I can interact with the end user. Uh, doesn't matter end user is, uh, you know, is in a uh, virtual agent in service now or it's uh, uh, on the Microsoft Teams, right? So, so you can see as an end user, I can see these options here. Oh. All right, so yeah. So Beth engine is available and I can have an issue this. Hi Beth. I'm facing issues with email. Right. So as an uh, agent, I can have all these uh, responses here. And I can also interact with uh, with the end user. No problem. Let me help you. So you can see how easy it is. Uh, for agent as well as uh, you're an employee to interact. Uh, so this is what the response from Beth. All right, great. Uh, so I can do multiple things, of course. Uh, what I want to show you here is there is a call uh, in the quick section. So you have this option here. Um, you can do, you can, as an agent, I can do so many different things, but I want to show you is about, uh, you can transfer this chat to uh, agent or you can um, you can initiate a team call here. So as an agent, if I want to understand this issue in a better way, then I can uh, initiate the Microsoft Teams meeting directly. So what this will do, um, you know, simply it will create a meeting between uh, agent as well as uh, the end user. So you can see Teams meeting is created. Not only this, I should have a call initiated. So this is what my view as an, uh, as an agent. So I can see here there is a call initiated. So as an agent, I can join this call. Similarly, as an end user, oops. So as an end user, I should have that call or uh, meeting invite. Yeah, I could also attend that meeting. Yes, please. I want to keep this mute and I can join. So now, uh, now, uh, end user and agent, they both are in Microsoft Teams call directly. And they can, you know, they can have a discussion um, or even they want to 
um initiate some kind of a chat they can have chat as well so normal, normal microsoft teams feature yeah so all this is available so as an agent um oops so I can see all these here. So basically, I here is uh, it's super easy for me as an agent to interact with end user, and it at the same time it is very easy for the end user as well. They can communicate into their own favorite uh, communication tool, and they can have a discussion on uh, incident or the problem which user was facing. As an agent, I can you know uh, work out solution for that user, and uh, it will help me to complete a case quickly. So once I finish this, for example, discussion is over, then I can come here. Let me also exit this one. So I can come here and I can, uh, you know, uh, close this uh, issue itself. So how super easy it is. And as part of uh, this chat, um, I will have all those, uh, discussions recorded as well so i will have all those uh, uh, you know chat trail uh, as part of this incident so in case if that issue need uh, further escalation then you can create case or uh, as an agent i can do multiple things right so so idea is that there are a lot of options uh, you can uh, as an agent you can utilize and improve your productivity so that's a one option uh, also before I'm moving further, let me see if more questions. Is there any separate confirmation? So there's a question in the chat window. Is there any separate configuration need to be done for different languages? For example, if the user is using Chinese, whether it will English in just uh, its responses. Uh, for language, yes. Um, you have to use uh, the normal service now language uh, uh, option. Uh, there is nothing separate configuration is required. Uh, if you have that language uh, uh, covered as part of your uh, normal service now uh, instance, then uh, it will work as it is. Uh, there's no separate configuration required to for the MS Teams. So your agent can uh, chat in English. However, if end user doesn't know the English, uh, some other language, then definitely uh, we can have that integration uh, or the uh, interaction enabled. So there is no separate uh, configuration required for language perspective. It is part of uh, ServiceNow uh, ecosystem. Okay, good. So further next, uh, what I also want to show you is, um, let me go my PPT, make it big. Uh, there is something called major incident management. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, um, let's say if you have some uh, outage happen which is going to impact uh, uh, all of your uh, employees then uh, in such cases you always try to give preference for these kind of uh, big outages so as an uh, incident manager what i will do instead of creating a normal incident i would like to create a major incident um, you know uh, just to uh, just to in initiate the flow of major incident management, which is one of the module in service now to handle such major incident. And once I initiated the major incident, then I can ut utilize my Microsoft Teams uh, integration within MIM Workbench to uh, initiate the collaboration, to initiate the quick communication between employees, uh, all those sort of things. Uh, so as an um, major incident manager, I can utilize Microsoft Teams integration for my uh, uh, those kind of important communications to handle these kind of uh, major incidents uh, smoothly and turnaround can be uh, uh, lower, right? So I'll show you as part of a quick demo. Um, before I'm going further, uh, there is a dashboard also available. So in case uh, if you want to track, um, how your MS Teams integration is doing, you can utilize this dashboard um, to see, uh, you know, how my uh, MS Teams integration is helping my end users. Uh, you can at least come here and see, um, you know, what was the duration of those uh, uh, Microsoft Teams uh, um, 
conversations uh, also um, in case if uh, you know end user uh, they hang the conversation between or um, you know the conversation end by your agent so you can track all these uh, uh, all these important metrics uh, by using the conversation analytics dashboard so which always help you to improve the entire process also there is an option let me close this out it is for that uh, also uh, someone was talking about the spoke right so um uh, in case if you are aware about the flow um, designer then uh, you can utilize um, various different use cases to automate them uh, by utilizing the graph API spokes. So I'll show you how you can configure it super easy. I'll just give you one example there. So you can utilize those um, graph API, Microsoft graph APIs, um, you know, uh, options to automate various different use cases. So a couple of use cases just written here. You can uh, do the chat management. You can uh, do the notification management by using your ServiceNow Flow Designer. Um, you know, you can create your channels, uh, all those sort of things can be done, right? So a lot of automation can be done uh, with the help of these spokes. Uh, you can utilize these spokes or uh, in your uh, in your uh, flow designer. Um, if I just quickly show you uh, one example of MIM, so major incident management. So for example, let me close this. So for example, there is a major incident in my organization and I want to utilize Microsoft Teams for uh, you know quick communications for quick turnaround. Then I can uh, simply come here. I'm an incident manager, uh, major incident manager. There's a question, okay. Thank you, Sangeeta, no worries. All right, so as an incident manager, um, what I can do, I can utilize the Microsoft team integration for uh, for you know for the quick uh, turnaround. So I can come here on this major incident. Um, there is an outage, so you can see there is a user reported, and as a major incident manager, I have promoted this as a major incident. Uh, you know, so I will have an option here to initiate the Microsoft team set directly. Um, so it will, uh, you know, uh, it will help me to engage with my resources, with my team to let them know there is a major incident is happening, uh, you know, uh, so that they can be aware there is a MIM initiated and there is a big outage, right? So you can utilize this. You can start a conference call from here directly, right? So all those options are available for me. Uh, what I want to show you is something called a view workbench. So workbench is something uh, from the separate area where as a MIM, I will have a different options to initiate the different communication methods. So if I am a MIM manager, then I can initiate a communication. So I can send the Microsoft team notification uh, to my team members, uh, you know, just to let them know there is a, a major incident happened. And I want them to keep their uh, keep their uh, you know uh, uh, eyes open so that uh, we can solve this. Uh, so I can come here. I can compose uh, communication to my resources. Yeah. So for example, I want to send communication. Uh, uh, these three members. So Beth and Jen is from uh, say um, operations team, uh, system administration, as well as the Hannah Walker. So I can say, hi, there is an MIM created. Please make yourself available to work on, right? So I can initiate this uh, notification. The moment I hit the send button, it will send the message and it should be there in my Teams, yeah. So see, this is what the notification I got. So as a team member, now I know there is a um, there is a notification uh, which is saying that there is a, a major incident created, right? So I can I can see that MIM directly from my MS Teams. I don't need to go somewhere else. So I can click here and see that uh, major incident and work upon this. 
similarly if i go to bath as in bath also got notification right so you can really literally you know uh, initiate those uh, communications via my workbench and it is very helpful uh, in few cases for sure not only i can just not initiate the um, notifications also i can initiate a team call so if there is a urgent requirement where i want my team to collaborate quickly so that we can fix the issue i can initiate a microsoft teams call directly from my mi workbench so i want to initiate a call say that means say i want to initiate a call between these two uh, and i can start the call so i should have call yeah so you can see the call is initiated this is what the call unit number is and so yeah this is what the call is yes also there is a call here join now so as a mim manager i have initiated a call so that i can uh, collaborate with my team member to fix this uh, major incident quickly uh, so you can see how how easy it is for me to initiate a call directly from service now uh, page and uh, your team member they don't need to really log into uh, service now they they're using their own favorite uh, communication tool like microsoft teams they can join those important calls directly from teams right so they can collaborate here they can discuss the issue they can uh, see the workaround and and uh, and you know uh, quickly respond to the team to uh, fix this major incident yeah so for example if as part of this initiate they did any kind of a chat right and say my discussion over uh, i want to go out right. let me close the call from here also so you might have noticed uh, this this basically this bot will initiate all those uh, meetings and and chat right so this this bot is nothing but the manifest file which we uploaded or the by default bot is available so this this bot will control the meetings um initiation as well as uh, as an mim if you see i have many different options so i can end call directly from here i don't need to go back to microsoft teams again so you remember the one window concept um i can also if i want to join the call i can join call from here if i want to listen what my team is is uh, discussing to fix the issues also i can uh, mute and mute uh, the audience directly from uh, my service now page so as an MIA manager, I don't need to go back to log into my MS Teams. I do have all those options available within my own window here, right? So for example, if my call is over, discussion over, then you can see. It's done, yeah. So you can see how easy it is uh, to have a, uh, those kind of important collaboration directly from my own window yeah so that's one example let me see if your questions can i schedule a meeting from service now for a specific time meaning instead of initiating instant meeting whether i can set up a meeting from 30 minutes from now uh, i think you can uh, set up a meeting but not from service now you might need to use some kind of a spoke uh, to set up those meetings but you can automate that meeting invite as well Uh, you cannot block the calendar uh, in case uh, if the end user they are managing their calendar over the Microsoft uh, 365, then yes, uh, if they're not using the online Microsoft 365 app, uh, then no. And there's another question. Let's say client has ITS MS standard license and then want to enable MS Teams integration, but has budget constraint for upgrade license. Can they still go with the uh, integration? Um, 
I think this thing need to check. Uh, what are the limitations with regards to license? Uh, Ankit, always uh, I will I will request you to reach out to the service now team uh, to have those uh, licensing discussions. There is another question whether I can include external email IDs as well. Um, you can external email IDs. Uh, uh, yes, but that email ID, uh, I mean, the user should be on MX Teams, right? That's what the ultimate requirement is. And they should be part of same tenant, Microsoft uh, tenant ecosystem. Then, of course, yes. So if you're using Microsoft tenant, then, then uh, you know, uh, ServiceNow will just integrate with the tenants. And all the email IDs part of the tenant can utilize this uh, feature. Uh, then you, if you have multiple tenants, then you need to configure your uh, multiple tenants with service now. So if you recall, the, if I can just quickly show you, there is an option to have a multi-tenant integration as well. Yeah, so you have to, basically you have to integrate uh, accordingly if you're having multi-tenant. Microsoft. Oops. So this now, if you go to install as your apps, then you have to um, follow this uh, integration for multi tenant. Uh, there is a question say, for example, I want to include a user from YY, but I'm working from Access Company. Um, so whatever you're working if you're part of those tenants microsoft tenant then you can utilize this integration yes so it's all about tenants not not with the uh, and which company you're working so if if you're all your email id is part of the tenant you can utilize this functionality all right also i want to show you very quickly before i show the next uh, thing so i was talking about the spoke right so um, you can utilize various different use cases by using the uh, flow designer if if you're aware about the flow designer so i did one uh, automation here what i did um, basically i have connected one of my team's channel with the flow uh, uh, with this flow and what i'm doing here is I am basically uh, creating one automation where any major incident created in my service now instance, then it will generate a notification on one of my channel, right? So you can utilize these options here. You can see the graphic page. So you can do all these uh, different use cases uh, automated. You can create meetings directly from here. This spoke, there was a question, right? So you can create meetings uh, directly from spokes uh, you can add members you can add new channels all those things can be automated uh, if you'll use uh, spokes right so if, if for example if this is what my integration is connected if um, if i show you there is something called oops yeah. so if i go to my this channel so i have created this channel any time if any new MIM created, I will have notification on this channel. Right? So you can see this is what the notification I received about the last uh, MIM incident. Right? And it is super easy to configure all these things. Uh, you know, you can go to uh, the connectors and So you can see this manage what you have to do you have to copy this uh, this url and go to your service now instance flow designer paste this web url here then whenever this flow runs it will send out the communication to the team channel super easy all right so uh, we are approaching uh, to the end of session i would like to quickly um, initiate one more poll just to know where are we standing now? So if you guys can quickly respond to this poll as well, um, since you know a little bit about the team integration now, what do you think? Uh, 
how confident you are to initiate on uh, this experiment on your sub production instance all right so while you're responding quickly pick questions uh, ankit you you can literally go to the flow designer and you can um, search this actions here uh, go to teams And you can see all the spokes available here via Graph API. I don't think so. All these uh, spokes covered as part of documentation, but you can always come here and see uh, different options. All right, good. Oh, very good. Sounds good, guys. Uh, really, really appreciate. So, majority of they said yes to the poll. So, seems like uh, you guys learn um, today and ready to experiment on your. Uh, sub production instance very soon all right good um <clears throat> is there any else any last question if not then i would like to you to remind post this session you will have a uh, option to fill in your uh, survey responses don't forget to do that uh, once you complete this session uh, in few days you will see this ppt is available on um, as well as recording will be available on service now community page you can have this uh, there is really a uh, you know uh, very good uh, helpful resources available on this ppt a couple of frequently asked questions uh, which will help ultimately you to <clears throat> enable the uh, integration on your uh, sub production instance happy to answer more questions uh yes slightly over on two minutes so in case uh, if you want to stay back if you want to ask more questions fine otherwise thank you so much i would really Say thanks once again for joining this session today. Hopefully you learned something uh, good and you're gonna experiment uh, this indication uh, to bring the efficiency uh, as well as increase the employee experience on your uh, in your team. No worries, thanks, Julia. Yeah, if no more question, then I would like to conclude the session here. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys.